If you're a marketing agency that wants more leads and clients, you will not wanna miss this video. In this video, I am going through a website called growmyads.com. Now, I actually did this a few months back in Bali at a private conference. I met up with a whole bunch of awesome business builders from all around the world, and I did a few private audits, and this is one of them. It's for a company called Grow My Ad. In this video, I unpack the homepage, I unpack the lead magnet, I unpack everything that they could be improving upon. And you know what? I see this in pretty much every agency website, so no doubt it will apply to you. And after auditing a thousand plus websites in my career, there's gonna be some actionable and tactical strategies that you can deploy pretty much instantly to get more leads and clients coming through for your agency. So let's get into it right now. We're doing a live conversion audit. We've got Luke here from Grow My Ads. <laughs> and we're just Thanks, gonna be Matt. we're gonna be reviewing this website and this is his business. He runs a Google Ads agency and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a bit of a teardown of how he's going to get drive more leads. So Luke. And specifically ideally bookings. Bookings. Meetings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. So just from like a structural point of view, in the marketing space, super competitive. And what we want to really Very. be featuring is results, right? So at the moment we've got resources, we've got blogs, we've got guides, we've got the hub. Um, there's the about and then there's like a contact and then there's like a free report. And like the way this has been designed, there's a lot of attention just going to the free report. So Yeah, which was our original kind of offer <laughs> on Facebook and this kind of yeah. thing. Now like the copy is pretty good here. Um, it's probably a little bit hard to digest and this button's a little bit so Yeah, this missing. is not, this is just the uh, yeah. uh, WordPress page. The actual landing page was much better. I don't like this either, I agree. Yeah, but like the core conversion goal here, get your free report, like I guess we need to like opt into this and then also. Um, yeah, so you can opt into it, just see where it sends you and you kind of see yeah. what. So that's actually where the results are kind of hidden right now, which is not, not ideal, I agree with you. Yeah, dot com. Yes, you gotta select yes. If you select no, it just sends you Bit to a dead end. Congratulations. So we go into some results. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. It just glitched to the bottom of the page. Yeah. Because like this is where you've got like all the good information. It's like yeah. it's gated at the moment. It is gated. And that's not good <laughs> because <laughs> we, we want to have people seeing your best stuff, right? Like right. we want to build desire. We want to persuade them from like day one to actually come to your website. And if it's if it's gated and it's behind here, you're actually going to be, yeah. It's all hidden, yeah. It's all hidden. So yeah. like I'd be leading with this sort of stuff on your homepage at the moment. Yeah. Because at the better, moment- It's actually a better homepage than our homepage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like all like you don't you, you don't really have any proof and like one of the things is you know you're not necessarily like a massive agency which no. is actually one of the good things because this is all pretty generic anyone could create this a is website. super generic this is literally i wrote just to get so like, something to fill in the space you know so like one when, when the first thing is like when someone comes to a website the first thing that someone thinks is yep. can i trust this people can i trust yep. these people right like and you, do these people have what i want yep. so do these people have what i want that's the first thing that they ask and the next thing is like can i trust these people mm. with my money my details my personal information do i want to be on their email list do i want to be getting um, exciting things from them things like that and if we're not doing that and like at the moment the website fails that yeah definitely um because there's like the likability as well right right so like it's, adding... just, it's very generic it's very corporate almost yeah it's that's that's the word it's corporate right yeah. so that's what we want to fix and then the like in terms of like the first headline dramatically grow your conversion sales and roi from google ads in less this is in, like a three months or less i've had for about five years so it's not yeah it's yeah nothing, basically yeah so there's it's probably worth writing down yep. um there's a agora financial billion dollar like financial newsletter publishing company yeah i know about agora yeah. yeah, they've got a headline copy test and it's called the four U's. And ideally, you would like to have all four U's in a headline. If you have one, that's good. If you have the two, four U's? Yeah, the four U's. So one is good, two is better, <laughs> three is great, and then four is like exceptional. The and you've got like a monster on your hands. So the first one is a unique headline. Yeah. The next one is ultra specific. The next one is useful. And then the one after that is urgent. If you can get those four elements into your headline, yeah. you're gonna have a really strong headline. So, and what was the last one? Um, urgent. 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 So unique, ultra specific. Wow, that's a great framework. Yeah, yeah, so it's the four U's, right? And that is really, really important to 
put in your marketing and that's what you want to do and like yep. obviously is this so we know let's do like before you use test right unique uh it's most marketing agencies are saying this pretty much ultra specific no we've no, got like 30 to 90 days it's like vaguely specific <laughs> <laughs> um and then we've got useful it's yeah. probably not like we haven't added like any any useful nature to it um and then like obviously there's not Urgence. really an urgency well, there's no urgency um, yeah it's now just like, another yeah. copy hack is people hate learning yeah. People love to discover though. Mm. So discover more, discover more. That gets more intrigue. Whereas yeah. learn more sounds like hard, laborious, frustrating. We don't want to have yeah. that. Um, another like just like little marketing acronyms to make sure when you're analyzing your marketing websites and stuff or landing pages is yeah. these two acronyms, ALF and HALF. Do you know okay. what those are? No. So ALF stands for easy, lucrative and fun. Yep. Easy, lucrative and, and fun. fun. Yeah. And then the other acronym is HALF. Mm-hmm. So hard, annoying, lame, frustrating. So when you, like, and this is like very uh-huh. nuanced sort of stuff, but when we're talking about like learn more, yeah. like that sounds hard, it sounds yeah. a little bit lame, whereas mm-hmm. discover, it just sounds exciting, right? Yeah. And it's just like those little nuances they can add on top of each other. Um, Dude, I can't believe we've had any meetings from this. We've actually got clients from this, like, yeah, a couple in the last month or two. So yeah, yeah, no, and like we actually fix this. The website's good, but yeah, you know where it could be, and you know the potential the of SEO, what you've got. Like the con- the actual content on the blog is really good. And yeah, because we're actually we've actually got someone who is like an actual Google Ads manager writing that content, and Austin like built out the framework yeah. for it. But the rest of the site is not good. Yeah. yeah. And like the thing is, is like you're saying 225 plus businesses, but you're not showing it on the homepage. Mm-hmm. And that's yep. that's the biggest weakness yep. of this whole page is the lack of social proof. And that's really what we need to start adding. And you guys have got it. You've got all the ad accounts, you've got all the photos, and we just need to start adding those screenshots. Yeah, 100%. Noticing like the uplift and then what you've done. Yeah. Um, oh, dude, we've got so many case studies. And even in this report here, Free report, nine surprising simple ways to double conversions from your PPC campaigns and prevent wasted AdWords so spend. A mouthful, do you reckon? Or? Oh, it's good, but I was thinking, like, what could be even better? Well, I mean, like, the, I, the, the, the ebook is, has never been an issue. Like, we had, mm. we had like a 30% opt in rate from Facebook on the ebook. Yeah, yeah. But then. Did you get the right client in, though? Like, just because you get have a high. Yes, yeah, so we, we had, but we, we basically have that filter that you saw, where you saw before. You select yes or no, and only the yeses would actually go through to our list. The rest of them just hit like a dead end where it's like, yeah. Yeah. The ebook, but we can't help you, kind of thing, or something yeah, yeah. like that. And we'll maybe think about something to do with those emails later. Yeah. But um, yeah, like, like the new offer that we talked about, which is still in progress, that we want to be like the core of what we're kind of focusing on. And the ebook's just going to be like a side thing, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. pop up that happens or something. So the ebook is not yeah. going to be our main focus anymore. But yeah, I mean, it could definitely be improved. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like the next thing yeah. as well on the homepage. So we've got like obviously like. There's like a couple of things that need to change. Obviously, headline, yep. the offer switching up. Yep. And then now we're going to add a lot more proof to this page. Headline, yep. But the next thing is actually developing your system. So like, what is the Grow My Ad system? Yeah, so we tried to come up with a bunch of different names. And the best way I can describe it is like, we're using, we're using the machine learning plus like a human that is overseeing this machine learning and like directing it kind of kind of so yeah yeah we came up with like hybrid intelligence or something some something like this yeah yeah um but anyway that idea of like you know the robot the man plus the machine kind of thing we couldn't come up with a great yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. way to phrase that yet we came up with a few different ideas but yeah, yeah, like we had the hit method, which is kind of what I was saying before the hybrid intelligence targeting, but it's too long, it's a bit of a mouthful. It's not as nice as mm. PX, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing beats PX, PX is solid, <laughs> man. I, I don't know if I can think of anything better, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that's the angle we're going for because that is, is really what Google Ads now is it's like the human strategy plus like the machine actually doing a lot of the work inside the account yeah 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 and it's like how do we yeah that's something that yeah we'd have to think about but yeah i would even just think about your process and just like just work yeah. on like those three elements to it so like yeah. from what you've told me and what i understand from like the brief chats that we've had about it mm-hmm. over the last couple of days is like um we come into your account and the first thing we do is clean it up mm-hmm. and by cleaning it up we can optimize your ad spend by about 20 to 30 percent mm-hmm. right get you more sales get more clients and most importantly not not murder your money 
Yeah. And then the second step that we do is then we come in and then we step, set the foundations and we, we start testing new stuff. <laughs> Obviously, this is where like I don't understand more about Yeah, yeah we go into this, but, yeah. But then the third step is monthly optimizations and testings for month-on-month growth. Well, the third one is, is like scale. Yeah, scale. So increasing yeah. spend once we're hitting the yeah, goals. Yeah. And then just start to think about like, okay, well, now we need to like... Um, yeah, just put that into like, yeah, a, like, scale. A, like a nice yeah. system um, yeah. and, and go from there. So Yeah, and we and that like in like a cool graphic on the homepage with a bunch of proof is yeah, yeah, what yeah. we need. Yeah, yeah, because like the things that people want is like consistent mm. predictability. Yeah. And if you can say, okay, well, this is the system. We've actually designed this system because we, we noticed that mm. like Google advertising and ads in general were just like super inconsistent. It could be feast yeah. one month, famine the next. And what yeah. we've done is we've put it into like a repeatable, consistent system. Well, actually- So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We did have to cut it off a little bit sooner than I would have liked because we got into some revenues and some particulars that I didn't really want to share in a public forum. If you deploy those tactics on your landing page and on your agency website, you are going to get more conversions and leads coming through. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get your own private bespoke audit done by myself or my co-founder, Alicia, hit the link below because we've got a free offer at the moment to give you a live teardown in person. And we have a chat about your website and how to improve it. So if you want to improve your agency website, go down below and check it out.